Welcome everyone to another episode of Subnautica Modded. Now, I have done a little bit of work since last episode, tweaking a few things around here again. And as you can see, I added some displays, which I was going to use the new vertical display we have from the decorations mod. But the problem is, even though it's customizable, getting the pictures to work quite correctly in it in a vertical sense was a little problematic. I'm going to have to just look for something else, but I do have a few pictures custom that I pulled from online. And right here, I do have this one. I'm going to find another one for right here. Uh, I also added a specimen analyzer, which was originally in the game, sort of like the scan tool is now. It will hold stuff, but it doesn't do any kind of like scanning of any sort. And I do have some more infected fish, a bunch of infected boomerangs floating around the area. But beyond that, most of it is still the same and nothing down below in the big containment yet. But today, what we're going to do is now that I've gathered a bunch of supplies, got everything ready, we're going to start work on the living tower, which again, the one theme is going to be self-containment, that if everything else is breached, it's got the bulkhead here that can close, sealing it off. It has the scanning room so it can find supplies. It's got the solar panels on the roof so it has its own independent power. And I'm going to have basically some food down here, you know, some plants in this area for food production, uh, as well as probably, you know, production stuff as well. The We need at least a fabricator. Uh, I will probably put at least one of the easy sort containers in here. Maybe like a radio because of, hey, yo, it makes sense. So if something happens, you could broadcast a message saying, hey, I'm stuck in my little habitat module of my base. If anybody's still alive, come help me. So we're going to do some stuff like that today and see how it turns out, as well as try to put to use some other decorations. Now, one thing I am realizing that I'm going to have to possibly change, which is the placement of the ladder is because there are these couches and I would like to actually have maybe a central couch in one room, like a little lounge type couch. So I think we're going to have to do that. I think we will need to move the ladder to a different segment of the rooms. So you know what? Uh, it, it doesn't really matter. We'll just pick a size. So we'll go with this side and just put the ladders over here instead. That way the center of the room is open and available for use with the little circular couch type setup. But I'm going to get started putting some stuff in place. Okay, to start with, I went ahead with the standard fabricator, not worried about decorations fabricator or of course the seed fabricator because this is more about just basic survival. So we do have a fabricator for making supplies. Of course, a battery charger because I really don't think we're going to need a power cell charger in here. Since most of our production here and usage here will be based on repairing the rest of the base if this pod gets separated uh, because of flooding elsewhere in the base. And then, of course, like I said, the emergency radio will need that. Also, probably a good idea to have medical kits here. And I went ahead and put the auto sorter because, hey, if that still works, we can still dump supplies in elsewhere and, of course, use the easy craft. So it does tie in that in terms of the function but it's not really realistic in that aspect. So just think of it as like a little bit of storage. Uh, what I want to do over on these sides though, is I'm going to definitely put a planter. And what I'm thinking is instead of the full size planter, we're going to do just actually maybe just one in each corner like that. And then maybe a standalone aquarium, like actual aquarium, not, alien containment aquarium here which can hold some fish as emergency food supplies that way if you know something does happen i can still be in here and no that's not gonna work so we'll put the aquarium upstairs we'll do that and then this ooh, what we could do here is a decorative wall do the wall planter there we go so we've got that so it feels like hey we've got some greenery in here some oxygen production kind of thing let's go get some plants which i'm thinking one planter just for the marble melons because they are the best of both worlds and one for i'm thinking the uh potatoes and bulbo trees and i think i just grabbed extra i did grab extra didn't i i believe i did 
Yeah, I grabbed too many, so we'll just do like that, and then I'll have... Well, I technically could do planters with the uh, marble melons there instead. So, yeah, well, let's do that. We'll go with like a fancy little planter type pair of these. I'll be here just for the marble melons. And even though now that means, you know, these are going to be one of each. That's okay. We can deal with that. So that will give plenty of food in terms of being a vegetarian. And then upstairs, we'll make a decorative aquarium just so I have that in case something does happen that I do need to, uh, you know, have some fish in my diet should disaster strike. Now, we definitely need to have some kind of display screen in this area saying what's going on. So we've got this here showing kind of the planet setup sort of thing that I found online. I will use that for now. I probably will try again to see if I get the vertical display ones to work so I can have a couple of displays next to the, you know, ladder there and make it look a little nicer. And I need something that I can put behind those. Maybe I could find something about the plant tops that I could use in a display that sits up here. You know, put this like up top and have a, you know, image for the the potato plants and then the bobo tree. And maybe actually, you know, once they're grown, take like that one out and take that one out and replant so they're, you know, bobo trees in one, potato plants in the other, and have display text about the plant. So it's like growing information to help make sure I don't starve should this pod become independent. Okay, now this is going to be a little interesting. It's got like a central little cutout. And of course, it's not going to snap. Uh, well, it, it works in terms of visual, but it doesn't seem to be working in terms of placement. Oh, uh, what? Why is that not placing? I had it working for a moment. It's not even lining up. Oh, there it goes. I think that might be actually lined up better than that that piece. Oh, this is going to be really tough to get it to line up just right. I might actually do, instead of a central little spot, we might do, like, coming off the corner. So let's say, like, yeah, we're going to have, like, well... Do it. No, we'll do it like this. That way I can have decorative stuff on the sides. I wish there was like a snapping function in this. Sort of like we have in other games. I mean, there is snapping on the base components, like the big components, but not stuff like this. I really wish there was some kind of snapping feature for that. That would help a bit. Ooh. That looks like it's actually bigger. Yeah, okay, that's not working. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna take some work. Uh, let's try this one. The, uh, looks off. Like, it, it, it's not centered. Why can you not have it centered? Okay, so basically, I'm gonna have to just place, like, this down first. And then take the middle piece back out. So I can try to line it up. Because that was actually, like, blending into the wall a bit and you know, this this piece doesn't even connect to it that's a completely different height that just yeah that just doesn't work right it's like that bench is short and tall that's just as tall looks like maybe so that's like the short one just that little one piece is short compared to the others let's well, I, I guess I just will have to do it this way. We'll start with trying to get this lined up right. And... Uh, now, yeah, let's... Like, is that straight? Almost. I need a way to, like, notch it just a little bit more. There! I think I got it. I think I got it. Or if I could just do, like, this. I'll just... Oh... Yeah, I really wish there was a snapping. But look at that. That is just like right one spot. And I turned just a little bit and it's perfectly fine. But I turned back. There need, there should have been a snap to function for this kind of stuff. Or at least the option for it. 
wow, this is really problematic. I really think I'm just going to have to skip that style of uh, bench in this because that's just not working. It, it just keeps changing its placement too easily. We'll go with this one. This looks decorative enough, right? I mean, I, yeah, that works. Look, and it's right up to the edge there. So it's not like I'm embedded in the wall anyway. And I come here. Oh, let's, yes. Ah, oh, so nice. I need downstairs to be the office area. This is like my private time type place. This is where I come to kick back and enjoy myself. Which means this needs to come out. As well as that. We're going to do that up there. We're going to put all the decorative stuff up top. You know, the uh, the bedroom of love, however you want to call it, even though I'm the only one on the planet that I know of being alive, human-wise. Uh, you know, maybe I encounter a female passenger at some point who also is alive, and, you know, we, we hit it off. You know, it, it goes well for me, being the only other guy on, you know, only other human alive on the planet, possibly. Then, what, why is that not, there we go, come on, place. Some of these decorations are so iffy about how they place. Just really, really weird. You have to get that one very perfect spot for it to work right. And that looks like it's actually almost embedded in the wall. All right, now I could do the window here. Look, oh, actually, no, I don't want the window there. That's right. Window downstairs. This is going to be the private little area. Window. We'll do a window on the sides. Yeah, I could do that. That'll work. All right, let me show you what I've done so far. So I passed by this earlier. Didn't really show it real quick, but this is a tech scan picture from online for the solar panels because this has solar panels on it. So I've got that there as I come in. You see, I've got my nice planter section here for some food production. I added a trash can. I added a lab counter with one of the PDAs playing a single color Tetris, as well as moving the picture up a little bit. And then I've set up my production, of course. So going up, I now have visibility towards the sides, and I'm thinking I might add it over here as well. I've added a lab counter here with some paperwork or your know, documents. Uh, a bar bottle, which to me kind of looks like an interesting, you know, like like a beer or maybe some kind of specialty tea. I do have, of course, a coffee machine and some shelves, which I need to get some stuff to decorate that. I'm thinking more of the research type stuff. And then here I've got a nice little Altera, you know, the uh, Aurora vehicle, one of the decorative toys. And then I'm going to probably put it in our shelf there, do some more with that. This will be somewhat decorative with paperwork and everything. I've added a clipboard and a pen to the nice decorative desk, which is right here. So I can, you know, sit down, relax and that. Of course, not enough place to sit. I do need to move it back a bit more for that to work. I'm not worried about it working. I just want the way it looks. So I've got that done. And then up here, I've added some more shelves along with another bar bottle, a uh, world's best something, Fangri, Fangra something. Uh, and I've got this partially built because I am out of some supplies. And some of these decorative elements, especially the bottles, are... It's like one little bottle like that is glass used for it. So I need to go get a lot more quartz real quick. But basically, I want to do like a whole kind of like, uh, you know, bar type setup. Like, hey, I do find a female survivor. I'm bringing her back here. I want to have it like look nice. I want a nicely stocked bar. So I'm going to put a bunch of these up there. So I do need some more glass and also, of course, make cups and everything. But there's some other stuff I need, like fiber mesh. There's also this stuff like cured peeper. I need to go get some peepers so I can do that. Make like a small meal to put up there. A uh, meal tray I can easily do because there's Reginald right outside. I've got marble melon. And then there's this, which for the most part, I've got everything except for the bulb bush sample. And, you know, I can actually make nutrient blocks. I might make a few of those. Maybe not worry about it yet today because of the bulb bush. But I will try to do that maybe in the future. Toys, I'm not worried about the other ones. Maybe the cuttlefish doll. Maybe. Uh, more likely, I'd probably do some of the skeletal remains. Maybe some of the leviathan dolls again. Just to have around. Uh, office supplies, I've already gone through most of this. And that's where a lot of the fiber mesh I had went. So I do need to go grab some more supplies real quick. 
Okay, so I got some supplies for making, of course, the small meals and the meal tray. We're gonna go ahead and do that. A few peeper. Uh, of course, I got the fruit from in my grow room over there. I think I got three, yes, three of those. I've got some more peeper just in case I do wanna go that route. And then I've got some uh, stuff for doing this. What's funny is, you notice there, it kind of gave me that little disinfective water. You know, when I tried to do that, it said no power. In some cases, it does do that, where when it's got some intermediary to, uh, product it's supposed to create to use, it does not want to actually work the first time on the decorations fabricator. It gives me a no power message, which is really odd. So, but I've got it working. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this be like, here's the little food tray. It's where we're going to have all the goodies. Oh yeah, honey. Come on up to my room and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll you know, have some good snacks. Uh, I'm making sure my women are well fed or woman is well fed. If I, uh, find one out here. Yeah, that works. And then this will be like the whole, that's the food shelves right there. This will be the bar shelves. So I'll have all my drinks here and then some cups up top. That should look pretty good. So here I am in the top level where my bed is. And as you can see, I've added a few more of the bottles. I may not try to cover the whole thing up because then, hey, that means I found a lot of alcohol and I probably have a problem with alcohol because I've looked for so much of it in the wreckage. Instead, I'm just going to worry about a few bottles here and there. I do have some cups up here. I may move them down a bit just so it looks a little bit better and maybe put some more food up there or something like that. Uh, I did add the napkins, which is a nice little extra touch. Uh, one of the arcade toys that I collected from the Aurora is there. And I'm going to show you what's interesting here. This is the cuttlefish. And as you can see, it looks very odd right now when I place it like that. But when I do this, it's normal. So it's basically acting like the, I guess the egg casing for the cuttlefish. And I kind of don't want him facing that way. I want him facing towards me. It also does this with the bracket. It makes me switch to the uh, other, you know, items on my toolbar. Yeah, there we go. He's going to be staring at me while I'm over here sleeping. <laughs> and then I'll get my fish and I'll put some decorative plants up here too. Just, yeah, we'll do like the, the planters on the wall for up here. Uh, yeah, where does over here? Yeah, there, we'll do like some plant shelves. And you see, I've got that one poster there. Maybe actually put like a plant shelf like there. Yeah, like that. Uh, you know, we do have some decorative toys I can make from in here. I've got the Jack Septic Eye Tank, but we're going to go with like Markiplier doll. We'll do the normal one and then we'll do the, the funny one. The, the goofy one. And we'll put it up here and I'll rotate. I see on these, the rotation does not trigger the next item on the toolbar, which is weird that it does it only for certain items. We'll get that there. Oh, of course, I'm out of fiber mesh again. But I can still trigger the sound from it, apparently. Uh, we got to do the cat toy as well. If I get to, let me, you know, place it correctly. We'll go with the corner. How about that? And, oh, I can't, I can't rotate that. All right, we're going to have to do it like this. We're going to go, ah, ah, there, like that. And, yeah, sea moth toy, we'll do, like, I don't know, maybe over there. No, we'll do a sea moth toy up here, yeah. Actually, we can do a sea moth toy below. <laughs> we'll do it down here with the, uh, with the Aurora. There, the little sea moth miniature. And this I can actually make. I'm not needing fiber mesh. Well, prawn suit. Uh, yeah, I'll do another shelf right here so I can do the prawn suit on it. And the magic forklift toy. There we go. Yeah. So we'll have those. That's research. I swear it's just research or, you know, for me to de-stress a little bit and we're going to put the jack septic eye eyeball there just for fun uh i'm thinking i might do like robot arms on the wall there as well as maybe a couple other things i don't want to do the vending machine because then that's just me 
you know, eating from the vending machine rather than having to worry about growing food down here. Well, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.